Hi guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to design a background for virtual um, sorority recruitment. So here are a couple that I've already done and came up with on Canva. So Canva is a great, um, quick and easy place to start um, to design your own backgrounds. So what you will do is go to canva.com and you can create your own account and then you can start creating your own design. So for the ones that I just did, I picked presentation. And um, so you can click presentation so that it will cover your whole screen um, when you're on a Zoom call and you wanna make it your background. So I'm gonna go back into the ones that I was just in and show you guys how we did this. So, I'm going to add a new page, and if you go over here on the left side panel, you can see that there's a bunch of templates already that you can use. So, this one has a set template that I already used, which is that right there. And basically, what you do if you want to use the template is click it, click which slide you like, and then you can go in, and what I did was delete that, and pull this up to the middle, and type your sorority like that and if you click it right click it again and you want to change the color you go up to text color and click white or whatever color you would like and then again I went down here and just put in um, you put whatever you want down here virtual recruitment 2020 and it's really as simple as that, and there you go, you have a background. If you want something a little bit more personalized, like this right here, all I did was Google the sorority that you want to do, and I right-clicked, copied this image, and just grabbed the logo, and then um, you can just click again and paste it and it will, okay, it's gonna pull up this, so I guess use your commands to um, paste that in there, and it'll paste right in there nice and easy. And then I just went and I added a little text down at the bottom, so you can go to the left panel again, click text, and add whatever you want, and put that in there. And then for these two little sidebars, I went over to the left and went to elements, and you can scroll through all of these and check out the different um, images that they let you have. And so I picked the line right here, sized it down to the size that I wanted, and dragged it to the right spot. And for that, again, you can change the color of it by clicking this little square and the color that you want. Now for this one, I did a heading of the sorority that I wanted, and you can scroll through all of the fonts over here to pick whatever style you want. And for these um, little icons right here, I just was scrolling through this and looking at the shapes that I wanted. So I was choosing from this category, and you click it, and it'll drag it in for you. And there you can rotate it however you want, make it bigger or smaller, however you want. And I did that with all of these icons and just picked the ones that I liked and I thought fit the design well. And you can change the color of them by clicking them and going up to the icons that say the colors. So if you wanted to make that little spot green, you could do that. If you wanted to make the pink circle a different color, you can do that. And really just have fun and get creative with how you want to um, style your Zoom background. And for this one, I searched pink marble backgrounds, and that's what I got. And then I again copied it and pasted it into the background of there. So if I delete it right here and I go to uploads, which... Um, is where if you paste something, what will happen? So I dragged it and boom, it clicks right in there and looks looks great. And for this little square, 
I went to the elements again, looked through the shapes, and picked that one, and then went and changed the color to the gold that I liked. And for this text, I used um, that right there. You just click it, and it'll pop up for you. And then you go in and you edit it, and you can change the color and do whatever you want with it. So I hope that that gave you some ideas about how to use Canva and good backgrounds to use. Thanks for watching.